And we are live. Live once again on a Tuesday night. A tad bit early. We're about 20 minutes early. Um, the Hot Tag Podcast, THT Podcast. Yours truly, Shaheen, and my co-host... Boxman is here. The motherfucking Boxman. The big, bad Boxman. And I hope... I hope everybody can hear me because I'm doing the show from home tonight. So, if you can't, come join us on uh, YouTube here on uh, the Google Hangout and tell me you can't if you can't. But uh, if Shaheen ha- if Shaheen can, you should be able to. So, yes, Shaheen. Hey, man, I I got myself right in the middle of it. <laughs> That's a good one. I actually like that. I'm yeah. Quite happy. <laughs> If Shaquille Han, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, next episode, I'm, I'm officially going to change my name. <laughs> Great. More I have to remember. Great. You're done, man. Yeah. Done. I know. All my fault. What am I going to do? All right. Well, do we have any news? Do you want to talk about, or do you want to go over that at the end? Uh, I guess we'll do that at the end. Um, yeah, let's let's start off with Survivor Series. Huh? Let's go ahead and just dive into it. Let's dive into it. We'll, 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 we'll dive right into it with Survivor Series 2014. Yep. Well, it started out with the preview show, the pre-show, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Fandango, apparently he's Mexican now. What do you think about this? Um, I did not see the pre-show, but I saw some stuff about it, and I saw his little gimmick last night. Um, so new and improved just means you change your race? Yeah, he's Mexican. Awesome. He, um, he, um, hmm. Yeah. Um. No comment. <laughs> He's Mexican right. now. <laughs> okay. well, uh, well, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing that let's 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 be a little bit positive about. It. Okay. Um, Rosa Mendez. I think she's a she's a perfect fit. I never thought I would say she's a perfect fit for anything, other than you know probably uh, fucking what's his name Michael Hayes Dick you know something like that but. She's actually a perfect fit for being a manager for Fandango. I think it kind of works. I mean, I still don't like the gimmick. I think uh, I kind of wish they would have just dropped the gimmick because the more they stick with this gimmick, man, the more this guy is just getting buried. He's he's he can never escape this gimmick now. It's it's forever indebted to him. This is this is it. He's Fandango forever. Yeah, I don't see it going any further than this right now. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what I can see. I can see myself uh, being an old man at maybe. Eh, I probably won't be doing it when I'm old, but maybe when when I'm at one of these conventions, you'll see Fandango, like a six year old guy, dressed in his ballroom dance outfit and <laughs> stepping for a couple autographs. Mexican outfit. Mexican outfit, indeed. Yeah, it's it's funny that they gave him a black outfit. It's just like, yeah, he's he's a badass now. He's a uh, Ballroom dancer that kicks ass. He's a he, he's a ballroom bandito, eh? Yeah. Eh? What do you think of that? You're still not selling me selling me Fandango, but I I, I don't know, man. I guess if people like it, I guess I don't really. I mean, there wasn't really much of a reaction to him, so I guess it's not really. He's not really relevant. He never has been really, but hey, it is what it is. He faced Justin Gabriel. Um, I just like you didn't watch the match. I saw the clips on YouTube and mm-hmm. thought it. Yeah, he's got a. I wouldn't even say he really changed the gimmick. He just changed the outfits. Yeah, yeah. He just became a like I said a a, a ballroom bandito. I like that. I like ballroom bandito. I think someone should coin that phrase like us. Yeah, you should uh, tweet it out to WWE. There you go. They'll steal it. I won't get a penny for it, and I'll cry. But anyway, who cares? We have the audio, so technically we have proof. Oh, you're right. There you go. And yeah. this records, so yeah. it really is audio. <laughs> yeah, it's dated and everything. It tells you when it's happened. Yeah. 
There you go. Yeah, and I don't have to hit record anymore. Genius. Yeah, no kidding. All right, Survivor <laughs> Series 2014. Yes. Overall, yes. did you like the show? Yeah, I did. I thought it was a good show. I mean, there were a couple bad matches, but, you know, overall, I liked it. I, I, I even liked the end. Well, you you can't say there was a couple bad matches because there was only a couple bad. I mean, there was only a couple matches. Well, I mean, I liked most of the matches. I really thought that that Divas elimination was a cluster fucking a half. Oh, that is gonna be. Do you think Botchamania should just just air that whole like match instead of just chopping it up into clips? There you go. Save some time. I, that's what I would do. Why not? The whole thing was a botch. It it was, man. I it it looked. I mean, they looked horrible out there. Yeah, just horrible. Uh, basically, Survivor Series, the first match. I really enjoyed this one, man. Miz Dow, and unfortunately, the Miz against Los Matadores, Goldust, Stardust. And the Usos. I thought it was an awesome match, man. They pulled off a lot of high spots, mm -hmm. a lot of cool moves. I think it was a smart move to put this match on first. It really set the tone for the pay-per-view. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and I like the fact that uh, Miz Dow and, and Sandow won the titles. The whole, uh, I, I mean, the whole thing is working with, with Sandow. I don't know if it was intentional, but uh, certainly got him over with the crowd, and the whole thing where he was holding the, the belts and, and they were saying yes, and then it would, the view would switch to Miz doing it, and everybody would go and, would be going no or booing him. I think that's just awesome, and that's something that's going to catch on. It's going to be trendy, and it's going to get him over. I, I can really see Sandow getting a big push just because the people won't give up on him now. Yeah, yeah, it definitely seems like he, uh, whoever booked that match. Looks like they knew that the crowd was looking to see see Mizdow, and uh, they booked it to where he could get over. And damn, I mean, everybody, I keep hearing people, oh, the Miz is so over because of this. They're booing the motherfucker. They're liking, they're not liking Miz. They're liking Mizdow. People actually said this. I've heard a few people say, yeah, that you know, oh, Miz is over. This is the best Miz have been, and I, do, I don't mind Miz in this character, but I think Miz Dow just, I mean, it, it's like sending. I mean, it's like if you put Tyson Kidd with Ric Flair, it, it would make no sense. Well, whoever, you know, thought the Miz was over, you should immediately unfriend them. <laughs> Twitter, uh. maybe. Stored in your phone as as a contact, just just delete it ASAP. <laughs> just just cut them out of my life. They did not exist. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and talk about this match for a second while I uh, promote our show on Twitter so we can get some some people up in this bitch. There we go. The next match, or uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we can talk about this match, I guess. I don't know. I I just like the the whole Mizdow thing, but um. I'll go ahead and go right after that. Uh, bad news. Barrett came out, and he had some bad news. Well, I've got some bad news. Yep, for Team Cena and Team Authority. So I don't know. I I I, I like this. He he was getting some good momentum right before he got hurt. So hopefully he can uh, come back to it. So I don't know. I'm not going to say everything he said, even though I've got it here in front of me. But uh, I'm not going to do all that. Yeah. But, uh, I, a lot I like of returns, it. huh? Do what? A lot of returns. Seem to be. A lot of returns. I mean, let's remember, this was their free pay-per-view, so, you know, I kind of think they kind of worried that they might have blown their wad on this pay-per-view for free, but... Well, not even not even just the pay per view. The next day, uh, they they had, they brought back Brian. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like they brought him back to wrestle. I don't know. You're right, though. They they did. I mean, they they were they're trying to keep interest, and I don't know. I mean, if they can keep doing 
weird stuff like this, I'm fine with it. Yeah. I well, got no problem. Next, we got the worst match uh, probably in, in, in professional wrestling history. I'd, I'd go as far as to say that. Really? The, um... Wait a minute, the Cesaro match? Cesaro match? Cesaro and Swagger. They had a match? Uh-huh. I didn't... I must have missed it. <laughs> well, you can, you can go ahead and talk about... This is just going to show you how much uh, I, I, I tune out. I, I expected the Divas match to be on. I, may, I don't know. Maybe I was walking the dogs. I don't know. Are you sure? I think I think the Divas match came on next, and then the problem. Then you got up. Yeah, and then I got up to go either piss or walk the dogs. Yep. And the Divas match was over with, and then they squeezed in the Cesaro and Swagger match. That's probably what happened. That's what happened. They squeezed in Cesaro and Swagger. Swagger beat him. Um, it was. Wasn't a swagger. Know, swagger made him tap out. Uh, oh my god, that is painful. Man, maybe I should have just gone with you and skipped that match because I just ruined your why, night. <laughs> why are they doing this to him, man? Dude, I just, I, don't, uh, I really, I don't know why they're doing this to Swagger. I feel or uh, Cesaro. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say they're putting him in the 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 hardcore burial spot yet, but um, Come he's on, on his way. He's on his way. He's tapping out every week. Cesaro. Yeah, and the guy is, you know, I mean, right before they turned him heel, he was over. Yeah. He was over. It was like, why would you do this? He's been over for a year. Yeah, and they just keep, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be too negative on it right now because I'm hoping they're gonna. I mean, they. I mean, we we complained about Dolph Ziggler being buried, and look what they're doing with him now. So true. That is, that is a good point. But yeah, uh, I mean, let's. I mean, look, we're, gonna to, we're gonna have to wait on 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 a Cesaro uh, push for maybe another four years, five years. Maybe. Awesome. <laughs> well, you know, he's got to get over that WWE way. Not just because he's he's an a, a, a ROH guy. It's good shit, man. Mm -hmm. Good shit. Sure, if you say so. Well, I don't want to say so. <laughs> man, I love being home doing the show. Um. Yeah. So after that, <laughs> let's just pass that because we're we're gonna we're both gonna get angry about it. What, the Divas match? Actually, the Divas match hasn't even gone yet. <laughs> there was the in-ring with Vince, Stephanie, Triple H, and, of course, John Cena. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely now, forgot I missed some of this because um, I was on my way home, and my phone stopped working. The network would not turn back on on my phone. Well, um, you know why. Yeah, I do know why. It worked for about nine, ten minutes, and then it stopped. So I missed pretty much this whole thing. I uh, heard it was decent, but I really can't comment on it. All you damn freeloaders, pay you nine ninety nine. Man, that was. And then even on my, you know, I I tried to get it on my Xbox, and it was giving me shit, so I didn't even bother. Then I. Uh oh. Stream with the quality I had. You gotta say that one more time. You tune out. Oh, I but I probably could have watched an illegal stream on my computer with the quality I had on for the for the the pay per view. Yeah. yeah, I mean I uh I had I I could I just kept you know turning off my PlayStation and turning it back on. It it worked for a bit, but it's you know it's just it's a hassle. It's annoying. That's why I came. To, yeah, that's why I came to my computer. I was just tired of messing with the Xbox. You know, it was loading like every forty-five seconds. Yeah. So I gave up. Well, yeah, you're right. Uh, Vince McMahon came out. This was a. Uh, it's always good to see Vince, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a big mark for Vince. Uh, <laughs> as as many people as hate him, I I like the guy. 
Uh, yeah. yeah, I did too. He's got a lot of charisma, man. The guy's good. He's 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 a good heel. I agree, totally. Good shit. It was good shit. I like it. I totally enjoyed it. So let's see. Yeah, I did. So, all right. What was next? The Divas. Hold on one sec. No. Backstage, Adam Rose, the Rosebuds, and Slater Gator. Yeah, this none of this counts, man. <laughs> None of this counts. Okay. So, Divas match. Um, Paige, Cameron, Summer Rae, and Layla versus Natalia, Emma, Naomi, and Alicia Fox. Yeah. Um, Matthew from Botchamania is going to have a fucking blast. I have a quick question. Sure. Why was Alicia Fox on the babyface side when they put her out there as a heel every week? Because no. Paige? Because she's fighting with Paige? I don't get it. Anyway. Yeah, I, uh, shit. I said it was a quick question. The, 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 the best part, and what was a, was, that wasn't really a question, it was a rhetorical question. True. I wouldn't like to answer that. Anyway, yeah. fucking uh, Tyson Kidd, man. The, I think he's, he's probably one of, the, one of the, my favorite guys on, on, on the roster right now. He is pretty funny. What do, you, what do you think of this guy, man? This guy is hilarious. I've... I like it. I like the thing they're doing with him. But I've always liked Tyson Kidd. I think the guy is good. I just think he's a weird-looking dude that probably needs to put a mask on. I don't know. Yeah. I would put a mask on him. I like him, man. I do, too. I think he's pretty fucking good, man. I well, definitely speak do. Of, speaking of masks... Did you see his 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 new outfit when he came out with Natalia? Yeah. <laughs> he looked like a member of the Ku Klux Klan, man. I I don't know what the hell that guy is doing. I actually saw picture memes with him that said close enough and it had a KKK guy in him. Wow. So you nailed that one. Wow. Yeah, I expected that, man. Don't don't send that guy to fucking uh, Ferguson right now. No, they'll kill his ass. Yeah, they'll kill his ass. They'll kill his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. But uh, yeah, Tyson Kidd was probably the best best part of this match. Yeah. After uh, the, after the babyface team won, he's got his arms spread. He celebrated more than anybody in the match afterwards. <laughs> but he was just right in front of Natty, like. It was great. I loved it. I was laughing the whole time. That was like right when I got back to the house, and it was right after the pay-per-view started working again. So I was happy to see that, too, because it was hilarious. Now, have you noticed how much airtime uh, Tyson Kidd has been getting? You mean Natty's husband? Yeah. Yeah, Natty's husband, yeah. Right, right. That's what JBL calls him. I mean, that's great to do to your talent. Yeah, I don't think JBL knows his name. Uh, he doesn't. He has no clue, and he won't even look at the screen because he doesn't give a shit. He probably beats the hell out of that little guy. No, but on honestly, think about it. Before he went back to NXT, he wasn't doing shit. Nope. He went to NXT. Now, think about this. He went to NXT. He's on NXT now. He's on Main Event. He's on Total Divas. He's on SmackDown, and he's on Raw. Dude, the guy's a fucking... He oh, yeah, locked you, up on me. Yeah, you tune out for a second, also. Uh, it's, we just it locked up on both of us. No big deal. Um, yeah, nothing. I, I just the, the the guy's getting himself over on <laughs> shitty TV shows. What can you do? Yeah. But uh, yeah, it is. It really is amazing how much TV time he's getting. Like I said, he's he's on five shows. Mm -hmm. There isn't many guys that are on five shows on, on the roster. Yeah. You know, John Cena isn't even on on on, on the five shows. Well, he's actually got stuff to do. True. Yeah, I mean, people actually want to see this guy, so. Yeah, Natty's husband has nothing else to do but uh, but to pet his pussy cat. Yeah, he ain't he ain't petting Natty, obviously. No, he's 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 not 
petting that pussy cat. He's he's no. petting a Persian cat. You know. Poor Natty. <laughs> oh, stupid ass storylines. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right, enough of Tyson, kid. Let's go on to the fucking the Bray versus Am- Bray and Ambrose match. No, I I hated the build up to this man. There was barely any build up at all. And, uh, Which is I, why the match is good. Yeah, exactly. And and also you can tell by the way that match ended, it wasn't over. You know, yeah. they they definitely left it open. And I mean, they announced a TLC match. Ten minutes after it was over, but good match. I was not happy when the DQ ending came up, but um, I think they worked their way through it afterwards because watching him beat him down, it made sense to do the DQ ending to keep the feud going. Yeah, I was uh, I was kind of disappointed when he brought out the ladder and he just didn't do anything with it. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. It's 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 promoting the next you know pay per view. I don't even know if I can call it a pay per view anymore. Is it? What do what do we call it now? A special network episode. Just network specials. Network specials. I don't know. Well, but they are. Well, paper. you can still get them on pay per views, so they're still pay per views. Yeah, well, I guess you know have to promote the next pay per view, but I, you know, he he could have put him through a table from from the middle of the ladder. He didn't have to climb the whole thing. Just just you know tease it, and then you know at, at TLC pull out the the fucking what is it the twenty foot ladder or whatever it is. Yeah, but I I I definitely think a TLC match with those two is gonna be pretty fucking awesome. And you know a lot of people complain about Bray Wyatt and say uh, he's 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 bad in the ring and I I don't really sense that. Do you? I, I mean I wouldn't say he's you know a you know outstanding in the ring, but no, he's you, he's not. But he's definitely passable. He's not bad. Yeah, you know what his his storytelling in the ring is better than his work in the ring and i can think of another guy who that was um stone cold steve austin yeah i mean austin honestly austin wasn't yeah. great no he wasn't great in the ring he had fucking he only had a few moves that he did but he could tell a story with objects and everything else because of his knowledge of the psychology of the business so right and speaking of austin let me go. I'm 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 probably gonna get some heat for this, but uh, Austin, I I hated his punches. Am I the only person that hated his punches? No, he didn't throw the best punches in the world. I don't oh, like him either, but terrible. he could stomp a mud hole in someone's ass. Even his stomps, I thought they were horrible, man. I liked his stomps. Oh, don't. All right, I liked the stomps. I always thought he made those look as believable as possible. I mean, oh, especially for as bad as his knees were, I thought they looked fine. If you look at the corner stomps, I don't know, man. I don't know. Is this thing going to go ting, ting, ting all night? I don't know, man. This fucking thing is... Is it telling you to update again? Yeah. Oh, no. All right, let's uh take a quick break for one second. <laughs> Okay. Fucking thing, man. God. YouTube, come on, man. Dude, you don't know what I got to do when these things break. It's a bitch. All right. We'll be right back. We'll be back. All right. Our apologies. Um, Fuck YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. You make me update every episode. Come on, man. I mean... <laughs> Skype for a reason. Now we're trying to use this YouTube program, and it just, ah, I don't know. But, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we apologize. We are back. Maybe I was right, two, but we'll see. Uh, survival. Yeah. Maybe we'll have a part three. Maybe I'll have to update again oh, twice in a show. Don't That'll even jinx us. Uh, don't even jinx that. You never know. No, I guess you don't. 
Bray Wyatt and, and uh and Dean Ambrose. Yeah, yeah, we were kind of uh going over that and all the um all the the, the you know how the match was uh Ended up being good, even after the DQ finished because of the beating. We were glad that it was going to go to a TLC match, and I think that might be where we kind of left off. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I really like Bray. I think uh, I think his offense is is really good. I think his his punches are awesome. That's that's where we left off. Actually, we're talking mm. about Austin and and all this stuff. Anyway. And don't get me wrong, people. I, I love Austin. I'm just saying his 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 kicks and his his punches weren't uh, weren't the greatest. But uh, one person who who is underrated though, as far as punching, uh, Scott Hall. Oh yeah, I oh, loved yeah. Him. Scott Hall, Terry Funk, uh, The Rock. Yeah, The Rocks were good. They were just very snappy, but they were good. They looked yeah, they, they looked them. great. In in the beginning, they were they were better. They were uh, they were really snappy towards the end. Yeah, yeah. They well, he the whole character, every move he did was kind of snappy and. Oh. Plus, he he oversold the hell out of everything. I mean, you remember when he used to take the stunner? Yeah. He used to around and fucking roll over to the second row and. Shane. Yeah. Shane McMahon was one of the best at taking those stunners too, man. Yeah. He was, Shane, he wasn't he wasn't the most athletic, but uh, that guy man, he he could take some bumps and he he could he could take he could get some height. Yeah, I I we were talking actually last week we were talking about him at work and everybody was saying how they would love to see him back in. Hell yeah. Did you mute? Yeah. Me? Did you mute me for a second? Why did you mute me? No, I didn't. I uh, actually muted myself. Oh, okay. That's why it muted both of us. All right. No, no, I had to cough, so I just muted myself. Oh, but, I usually uh, just fuck it, cough, man. Who cares? But, yeah, I always mute myself. But uh, yeah, Shane, you know, I would. Speaking you, of, Shane, you yeah. never know. General manager, man, it, it might be Shane. You never Dude, know. I would fucking mark out like a mother if I if I heard money, 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 money. Would you really? Here comes the money. Hell yes. I loved Shane. Shane was entertainment to me. I loved it. I liked him always. I didn't care what he was doing, whether I liked him or hated him, you know, good or bad. He made me want to – made me want to see him. I mean I always, I always found him to be entertaining, but uh, I don't know. I'd like to see him. But, and he is – he is back in the states, so he has been for a couple about a year, a little over a year now. So, yeah, it could happen. Yeah, he's not over in uh wherever he was, Japan, Hong Kong. I don't know. Yeah. Now, do you think? Uh, do you think Shane McMahon? Do you think, as far as his diet goes, do you think he only eats like octopus and uh, squid now? I don't know. Be a good question. Yeah, any, anybody that's going to do a shoot interview with this guy, <laughs> does he still eat, like, uh, like hamburgers and shit, or is it just sushi? Probably the first thing you eat when you come back. Big, fat, greasy hamburger. Probably. I mean, yeah. it's, not like, it's not like you can't get a hamburger anywhere else. No, I'm sure you can. I, I'm sure they get I, mean, I don't know. There's probably... Yeah. Fucking, I mean, it's just meat. That's all it is. Yeah, I'm sure there's nasty fast food everywhere. Yeah. Especially now. I mean, yeah. 2014, dude, there's fast food restaurants and everywhere. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, Bray Wyatt and Dean Ambrose, man. Again, we uh we travel through conversations and we end up somewhere else and we're back to Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt. Yeah. But, you know, we've already said who won, so whatever. I, I am excited for this, though, man. They're definitely uh, two of my favorite guys on, on, on the current roster. So I, I don't mind this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I'd say Dean definitely is one of my favorites on the roster right now. I don't know if Bray is yet, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that, that TLC crowd is going to get a treat with this one. 
Yeah, I think so, man. That's definitely going to be a good match. That match suits both of them very well. So. Oh, yeah. We'll have to see what happens. Absolutely. Uh, next match. Uh, next match is the... Well, we had the little Team Authority pep talk, and then the next actual match was... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, one second, one second. <laughs> we, can't, we can't skip over this that quick, man. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Wait one minute. Rusev. Rusev. I saw you, Rusev. I saw you, Rusev. You didn't get away with it with me. <laughs> I saw you. I saw it. Did you see the flip-flops? No. You didn't see the flip-flops. Dude, I got to tell you, I missed the pep talk, and I missed this next match um, because I had something going on at the house. So You need you need to rewind this and and, and take a look at this. But it's... it's did you ever see that uh, they had a little vignette when Sting and, and, and the British Bulldog were feuding with uh, Sid Vicious and, and, and Big Van Vader? Do you remember uh -huh. that? Uh-huh. They had one on the beach, and Sid Vicious was, was walking around in flip-flops mm -hmm. and full of, like wrestling gear. It was worse than that, dude. It looked so awkward. <laughs> Massive, barrel-chested fucking fake ass Russian dude looking like a badass and then you just look down and you see like Hollister sandals on him. It's like ah <laughs> I get it. The guy has to wrestle barefoot, but for fuck's sake, man, just tape up your your foot earlier. Who gives a shit? If you know you're gonna be on camera, yeah put him flip flops, man. I don't I don't know. But uh Ruth man, he's growing on me more and more. I mean I always liked him, but uh, I'm I'm definitely you know, I'm digging them, and I like it. Yeah, I did not see that. Like I said, I missed it. Well, I'll have to look for it. I will. I'm sure. I'm sure there's memes out there by now. There has to I'll, be. I'll take a look. I'm sure. I've missed a lot lately. Yeah, it's it's alright. You're not you're not missing much. No, um, I doubt it. So, next match. What was the next match, good sir? I missed this next match. It was uh, the. Bunny and Adam Rose versus Heath Slater and Titus O'Neil. I missed this match, and I'm not too upset about it. Yeah, I mean, same thing as usual. The Bunny is pissing off Adam Rose, and yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't want to talk about this. I mean, you, you didn't watch it, and if it's up to me to talk about this, then let's skip it. Cause uh, fuck Adam Rose, and fuck this Bunny. Yeah, when I came back, they were. Crowd surfing the bunny back to the uh, yeah yeah, yeah he's, he's feeling the spotlight and he's in the limelight now so so Adam Rose is jealous because he's some Australian party freak that you know comes to the ring taking ecstasy and he likes to float around a bunch of random collar it's just fucking weird dude yeah. I don't yeah I don't. and they really need to stop doing close-ups of him because he looks like a fucking homosexual Jack Sparrow. He does. He's got the eyes. Eye yeah, the eyeliner. Why? I, I don't know. He's got like a ton of it on too. I mean, he looks like a gay Jack Sparrow to me. I don't know why. He's, he's, he's not – he's like a – I don't know. He's trying to be Raven, but he's kind of like – He's boy George-ish at the same time. <laughs> Perfect analogy. Perfect comparison. I don't. I don't get it. Boy Not George. for me. I don't know. If you like it, hey, you know, you know. God bless you. I, I, I'm not into it. But I'll tell you what, though. I like him more as a heel. I can't say I like him, but I can tolerate him as a heel. But uh, as far as him coming out as like, like corny ass, you know, what was that? No, you cut out for half a second. You're good. What? Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I can get used to him as a as a heel, but again, as a, as a baby face, I just he's he's not not doing it for me. No. So, but they need to drop this bunny gimmick, man. This bunny is, it's yeah. it's killing me. <laughs> I can't I can't deal with the bunny. I just can't. Well. I mean, it, it it's obviously Sami Zayn under that suit, so 
Poor Sami Zayn. No, uh, you know what? If this gets him up to the main roster, so be it. No. So be it. <laughs> no, st stay on NXT. If this is what you have to do, stay on NXT. I don't know, man. Oh, believe me, man. If this is his future, I mean, this isn't his future. This is just, this is, I don't know. This is something, but, uh. It's a gig. It's a gig. <laughs> I guess, man. I guess. Yeah. But it's, I don't know, man. I, I hope that they bring him to the to the main roster pretty soon. Because he's, I mean, he's good. He, he's, a, he's a really good face. They need more faces. It makes sense. Yeah. But, uh. I don't know, man. I guess they're going to put the NXT title on him. That means that he's probably going to be at you know, NXT for another six months at least. Yeah, probably. And I'll, 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 I'm, you know, speaking of NXT, in all of this Survivor Series for free, blah, 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 a lot of people watching, we're pulling out all the stops, it wouldn't have hurt to have a little NXT match on there. No, it wouldn't have. Just saying. Just a quick, just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Stick Cesaro in there. You, I, no, you could have just put, I mean, you could have put NXT guys. You could have had, you know, Aaron Neville, Sami Zayn, and, you know, bring out some high flyers. WWE really doesn't have many high flyers anymore. And they I mean, could have brought up uh, Kalisto. They could have brought up the Ascension. They could have brought up Finn Balor, Baylor, whatever his name is. Well, yeah, I can see them not bringing him up yet because he hasn't been there long. But yeah, they could have brought in. You know, no, they definitely could have no, brought in. He's on NXT TV. I mean, he, yeah. dude, he, he was a main star around the world, man. These aren't fucking, these aren't fucking indie guys that wrestled in front of fifty people. But they don't know the WWE style. Uh, I mean, <laughs> what, working less stiff? I mean, it can't be that hard. Yes, more kicks, more punches, more more rest holds, more... Exactly. I mean, that's all Kenta does anyway, so... Yeah, you got a point. Plus, they need more faces, dude. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I keep saying. They need more faces. Look at that, look at that Survivor Series team. You know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and they like are, are lacking. I mean, Ziggler. I'm happy for him. That's awesome. You know, I'm not gonna complain this whole show. The whole thing with Ziggler getting a push. I love it. I salute the WWE for finally opening their eyes. That's good. You know, so we're we're not always negative. I'm gonna I'm gonna point out the good and the bad. But if it's if it's shit, I'm gonna say it's shit. So I don't know. But overall, I I don't know. All right. Anything you want to say about this? No. No. All right. But we All go from we. I guess. Next, we went from bad to worst because we got this Roman Reigns via satellite thing, even though he was in St. Louis. But. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, they they they. they, they you didn't like this? No, they've got to stop doing this shit. They have Great. got to stop yeah. this guy. It was so good, man. Stop. It was it was great. Okay. Okay. It was great. Yeah, it was it was great. This guy this is the guy when he comes back, put a fucking rocket on his ass. Let him fucking fly to the top. Yeah, this guy. Did you hear him at the end? <sighs> I wish I was St. Louis cuz I would have made it rain in that bitch. Yeah. I okay. The crowd, like, oh, oh my god, he Dude. said the B word. Oh, shit, that just shows you how, like, I don't, uh, I, I can't you, even you, say, you're, like, you're killing him. Him. Yeah, no, but I, I don't know, man. I like Roman Reigns, though. I just think he's terrible on the mic. He really he's, is. He's not, I, I mean, everybody says he's terrible. I think he's good in the ring. I, I don't mind him in the ring at all. But uh, on the mic, man, the guy makes an ass out of himself. They gotta, they gotta stop doing it. Especially, especially these little promos where he, he really can't say much, other than you know I'm coming back soon and 
you know, I missed the rain. I mean, he, he's saying this. He said the same thing the last five times. Exactly, and there, and it just gets worse. It's so corny and goofy. My God, it makes John Cena seem like he's cutting a great promo every time. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. So that was uh, Roman Reigns' little uh, segment, and um, let me go like, a little. What? Oh, I'm actually looking forward to Reigns coming. I like Reigns. I, no. I think he's good too. I just he needs a manager. Maybe put him with Flair. Exactly. He he needs a mouthpiece, man. Yeah. There you go. Give Flair something to do. Put him with him. I guess he's he's taking acting lessons from uh, what I read. Great. It's not helping, I guess, but great. So did John Morrison. Look where he ended up. Anyway, I mean, well, look I mean, where he ended up in the most entertaining <laughs> wrestling organization right now. Yeah, I mean, like like I was about to say, luckily John Morrison could at least wrestle. So, yeah, true. You know, at least that gave him this. But notice they're not letting him talk very much. Yeah, I mean, let's not get into Lucha Underground yet. But mm -mm. they're smart, though. I mean, I I like everything they're doing. They're smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we 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 can get into it after uh after this or after Raw, whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah, now we go to the little backstage Team Cena things thing and uh, whatever. I Eric guess, being awkward. Yeah, it was a... a I don't know, do you like what they're doing with him? With uh, Ryback? No, Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan? No. I still... I think it's weird. Too... Um, not, not weird, but it's like too... It's really hokey. It's hokey. There you go. I mean, it's... Awkward. Little, it's weird, man. Both. That's exactly what it is. Awkward and hokey. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I don't like what they're doing with them at all. Definitely, man. But, uh... I don't know, man. It's just odd. So... You lock up on me for a second. I didn't. I didn't really catch any of that. Oh, sorry. I didn't say much. Don't worry about it. So, oh, oh. <laughs> on, on we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and go on to the. Up uh, oh, here it was the match of the century. Nikki Bella with Bree, the Bella twins, come to the ring. Nikki versus AJ. Um. The lesbian kiss? Do do I need to say more? Yeah. Um, I mean that was that was edgy. That was probably like the first edgy thing. But I mean that again. Is it edgy in in, in 2014? I no, guess. I, I don't I, think so. I don't know for PG. Well, I don't know. It was an obvious parody of the Sheamus Daniel Bryan match where, you know. Uh, yeah. AJ kissed Daniel Bryan and and yeah, oh. next thing you know, Sheamus takes him out. Yeah, it was an obvious parody of it, so it was what it was. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't have much to say about it. I mean, it was a I don't know. It was a uh it was like an 18 second match. So Nikki takes the title off of her, sparking more rumors. AJ is probably leaving the company. Ah, whatever. Yeah, they always say that. But do you find it odd that uh, Bree's lining up with uh, Nikki? Why would she align with Nikki if, if – I mean, in, in storyline, it really doesn't make sense. I mean, she's been torturing her for the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm, I'm saying why is she aligning back with her sister when she's been – getting tortured by Nikki for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I saw that too, and then I don't know what's... I don't know, because neither one of them can fucking act. I don't I don't know. Yeah, but, I mean, in, in storyline perspective, it really doesn't make sense, and if both of them don't, can't act, why put them together? That just... That, that makes it worse. Yeah, I guess so. Can you hear these dogs uh, snoring? I I was gonna ask do you are do your dogs purr? 
Yeah. Can you hear that? Because all three of them were snoring. <laughs> I've been trying to, you know, kind of get them to stop. It's not really working. Yeah, I can hear them. <laughs> I can. <laughs> we're trying to podcast here, dude. Yeah, wake up. This is not professional at all. Come on, man. Like, we're trying, like any, we're trying to be some professional podcasters. Like any of this is fucking professional. We're <laughs> some audio journalists. We're no. talking about wrestling. Not even close. Talking about some wrestling. We're trying. Hey, man. We're, we're doing it big on the Hot Tag Podcast, bruh. Yeah, we are. So, I mean, what else do you guys want? We got we got nice logos. We fucking we do early shows. <laughs> you like that? We show up early. That's good, right? Yeah, exactly. That's good. Yeah. We uh <laughs> we take breaks <laughs> whenever our audio fucks up. Well, it's good. Now it, man. it's you know, whenever yeah. Google Plus has to update. Yeah. You never know what might happen. Jesus, this show is this show is just a clusterfuck. Hey man, how are you gonna shit our own on our own show, man? Come on. Oh, I like clusterfucks. Don't worry about it. This guy right here. I'm 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 a fan of the clusterfuck. This fucking guy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean we got the lesbian kiss, that was edgy, I liked it. Whatever, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, like I said, it was what it was. You know, it it was it was a quick match, quick quick kiss, whatever. It was what it was. Yeah. But um, go ahead and press that button, man. You know what to do. Oh hell, you got to give me a minute before I press the button, dude. Bang bang. No, hold on. My mouse just battery just died, so I'm grabbing more. Hold on here. Uh. -oh. Yeah. So. See? This is this is how professional we are, man. Well, I had thought we were gonna keep talking about the Nikki thing for a minute, or the I don't know. I thought we were gonna keep talking about the lesbian kiss because you sounded a little excited about it. Now, so. now listen to yourself. Would you honestly listen to yourself? You thought that we were gonna talk about the Nikki thing for much longer. Look, I man, try, I'm I literally try to skip over every divas match possible. I try to keep it to the minimum. Look, man, I'm just trying to open the pack of batteries, all right? <laughs> Believe me, I'm, I'm trying to never talk about Divas. That's why we never talk about Total Divas. I mean, uh, unless you watch it, you can talk about it. I haven't watched it since, uh, like, two seasons ago. Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> I should be doing what you're doing. Hold on. I'm almost done, but no, I really, yeah, man, I thought we'd talk about, you know, the hot lesbian action or something. Hot lesbian action. Do you think, CM Punk, you think CM Punk got jealous? Dude, CM Punk probably popped a wood right there. But he's, 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 he's like, turned into, like a, like, a big bitch, man. He's, like, complaining about everything. I can see him getting pissed. I don't know. I, I I could see. I mean, I'm sure she spoke with him beforehand. So I don't know. He probably said, "Yeah, just just bring her home afterwards." Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know. You think they just had like a big orgy? Like, yeah, yeah, you know. And CM yeah. Punk. <laughs> fucking uh. Oh, uh, that would be weird, man. John, wanna... <laughs> this fucking guy comes <laughs> with Nikki Bella. God, I don't even want to think about that right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's fucking horrible. They should do that. Uh, they should. They should do a porn parody with that. There you there's, go. There, there's enough. Million dollar idea. Yeah. Right? You're welcome again. God. There's enough John Cena porn parodies out there already. We don't need more porn. More. Christ. More Keep wrestling right. porn parodies. Man. Yeah, this thing is now. I know. Now I changed the battery and it's installing the driver device. So the device driver. So. All right. Well, fuck it. Here, main event. Survivor <laughs> Series. Wait. 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 Click, you bastard. Nope. Wait for it. Wait for it. I hit it. 
Here it I comes. hit it. You hit it. You didn't hear it? I didn't hear it. It didn't work. You Fuck heard it. that, right? No, I didn't hear it. That's odd. Okay. I hit it twice. All right. Well, Survivor Series main event, Team Cena versus Team Authority. Yes. Yes, yes. Goal of the show. Awesome match. Can't thoroughly. Complain. Yes, thoroughly enjoyed this match. Awesome match. Mark Henry is, is officially probably the biggest jobber on the, on the roster right now. Would you say that? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, he probably is. He lost to uh, who did he lose to on 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 Raw? Um, goddamn, I forgot. Oh, he lost. He lost to uh, Ryback. Ryback, there you go. He lost to Ryback, and Ryback beat his ass and 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 fucking pinned him with a clothesline. Yeah. He lay down to a closed line. That's that's not a jobber, man. I don't know what a jobber is. Well, two no. minutes squash, two minutes squash with with the ending with a with a closed line. Yeah, yeah. I guess I got you. <laughs> there you go, Mark. You Henry, go. I guess he is on his way out. Um, he's putting over new guys, which is good. I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to see John Mark Henry in the main event. So no. it's good. Good, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, this was a really good match. The only complaint I have is the fact that Ryback was one of the first guys to get pinned. Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah he was the second Why? guy to get pinned because, you know, like you said, Mark Henry walks in, gets his ass knocked out, and done. <laughs> Why? Why? Why are they doing this? I don't know why. They knocked Ryback out early. Um, I can't even come up with a a reason they would. Honestly, I'm trying to think of one. I can't. Man, it doesn't make sense. No. Honestly, I, I, you know, I've come to the conclusion that, you know, the the rumors are true. It's not just, just internet rumors. WWE likes to bury gimmicks that, that got over organically. They just... Unless they have their stamp of approval, they they don't want them to get over. And if you got over on your own, guess what? You're getting pinned. Yeah. Fast. Take that, Zack Ryder. There you go. Zack Ryder's done, by the way. Who? Zack Ryder is done. Who? Exactly. Done. (laughs) Finished. Benito. Done. Yeah. I mean, no one. Uh, I don't know. That guy was mega over. He's doing the stem cell uh, surgery. Oh no, wow! Surgery, uh, stem cell, whatever. Like Ray had? Uh, I guess Ray had it for his knees, but I, I don't know what he, you know. Zach Ryder, I don't know what part of his body's injured. I think he's got a shoulder. So I think they said his shoulder. I guess so. so yeah, I guess it's similar. But uh, I guess his wrestling career. I don't know, man. I guess he's probably done. I don't know. I mean, Ray is ready to come back, so who yeah, knows? That's Ray Mysterio. <laughs> this is Zack Ryder. He, when he's healthy, he shows up once every five months. So, yeah, you got a good point. Now that he's, uh, now that he's you know, quote unquote, injury prone, he's done. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking done. Yeah, you got a good point there. Good point. You'll see him on the indie soon. Yeah, as uh. Or maybe you won't, since you know you don't get a lot of shows. I'll see him on the indie soon. Yeah, Rack Zider. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, exactly. Rack Zider. <laughs> That's gonna be his new name. Oh man. Rack Zider. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway. <laughs> Rack Ryder. Yeah. So Ryback's gone. Um. I was a little confused by it too, but uh, the match continued and it was still good. So I'll admit it, I forgot about it after the after about five minutes. Yeah, and then Big Show knocked out John Cena, and uh, you know that was that was actually a big surprise. But then yeah. again, who gives a shit? I mean, I guess it's I guess it's you know 
the the annual fucking big show yearly heel turn, and he has to do it every year. So yeah, this. But I honestly, I'd rather have Big Show as a heel than than a fucking crying baby face. But then again, on Raw, when he came, he came out, he cried. Yeah, at least he damn near cried. <laughs> you know. Every week this guy comes out and, and, and cries. He bitches and, and whines and cries. I mean, for God's sake, you're seven foot tall or maybe even taller. I don't know. It, I don't know. Grow a sack, man. <laughs> yeah, I Gotta get step you. Got to Gotta step it up. Got you. Yep, another big show heel turn. Yeah. I heard that one. Yeah, I went into the Google settings and fixed it. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I just didn't... I don't know. I just didn't care to see another big show heel turn. I just didn't. I didn't I mean, do, but... Let's kind of let's kind of mix mix Raw with with Survivor Series. Go ahead. Yeah, Big Show. He came out on Raw, and and the whole thing was you know since it was no longer you know beneficial for him, he he wanted to go back on his on his actions and say that you know oh let's just pretend that never happened and you guys basically owe me. I've been putting my life on the, my life on the line every you know for twenty years or. However many years he's been wrestling, yeah, it's about yeah, nineteen years. Yeah, I I don't know, man. I mean, are you excited for this? Are are we getting a John Cena and and Big Show match at TLC? Is this where this is going? I hope not, but it looks like it. That can't be good. It, it does. That's exactly what it looks like right now, and. That and they're saying Brock and the Rock probably. Brock and the Rock? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about TLC. Oh, I thought you said WrestleMania. No. TLC. You think uh, you think they're gonna, you think they're gonna put Big Show and John Cena at WrestleMania? I don't know. Nah man, I'm no, no way. I don't know. It's, it's well, gonna be TLC. There's no way they're going to put Big Show and John Cena. I would hope not, but I could see him doing it. Well, I don't know. Do, De man. That's definitely. boring. I don't want to see in, in the same uh, match, or at least that cancels each other out. You're definitely going to see it at TLC. So, yippee fucking skippy. Yeah. I mean, this was a great match, but there was definitely a lot of, you know mistakes and errors in this match. For one, you know, Ryback being eliminated being eliminated so early on in the match. Second, Kane pretty much outlasting every young guy. Why? Why? <laughs> he doesn't need it. It's fucking Kane. Yeah. Why is, he, why is he still in the match and Rusev is out? Why is he still in the match when Harper is out? Why is he in the match when was it was it Harper when he was out? I don't know. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Out. Harper was out. Yeah, when Harper was out. Yeah, Harper was out. Uh let's see. It was uh Gen out. Henry was out. Fucking Ryback was out. Rowan was out. John Cena was out. We haven't mentioned that yet, how early Cena was out. That was good. I actually appreciated that. That that shows you they're trying something different. They I took him agree. Early. And and they built a fucking star. That's that's good booking right there, man. That's how you do it. There yeah. you go. Ziggler is an actual main eventer now. Yeah, actually, Big Show was out at, right after Kane was out right before Luke Harper. Kane was out before Harper was. Oh, okay. Well, still the rest of them: Rusev, Ryback, all those other guys, man. They they should have been in the match, and Kane should have been one of the first guys out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Luke Harper. Yeah, but um, 
Yeah, but you're right. It de- this definitely shows they're doing something different. Ziggler, they really, I mean, they put him so far over in this match. Oh yeah, he he fucking he pinned the whole team. And as far as Seth Rollins, I mean, you know, technically he could have pinned them like four times. There was just no referee. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They put him. I- yeah, it, it it was amazing. I, I really, it actually felt like they were doing something different, like they were giving someone else a big, big, big push, and then, you know what happened then? Well, before we get into that, yeah, only yeah, let's get into it. But just 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 before that, I mean, you, they have to believe in Ziggler and 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 Seth Rollins. I mean. I don't want to sound corny, but it's it's kind of a blessing to be the the main two guys involved in the segment where you know who debuts. Yeah. I mean, it kind of makes me think, and I I, I heard this somewhere else. I I would love to credit. I I forget where it was. Um, then but, it's uh, what was that? Then it's yours. Yeah, I, I I just I don't want to claim it, but I I don't remember. But uh. <laughs> I can I can see this. Somebody else said this. Said uh, 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 one of the reasons that Cena was probably eliminated early was probably because Sting didn't want to be involved in. I mean, nothing. Yeah, I'm sure he has nothing against Cena, but you know, as far as everybody else knows, Sting likes to put over young guys. He likes working with young guys. He probably requested to work with the, with the younger talent and and you know, kind of give them the rub. So yeah, I could see that. I could. I could see that, but Sting's a good man. He is, but it looks like they're putting him with uh, Trips Triple H. Yeah, which is good, man. I, I said this like a year ago. I said it was going to be Triple H. I, I think we said it on the show. Yeah, probably. I think we did because I think we talked about who you could put right now with him. Who else? Yeah, I mean, he's he's pretty. Uh, Triple H is pretty much one of the only quote-unquote legends that uh, could actually pull a good match out of Sting. You don't want to see him against, you know, Hogan. No. You don't want to see him against, you know, as much as we'd like to, you don't want to see him against Taker. It's not going to be a good match. Look, I would like to see him against Taker. I know it's not going to happen. I'll be honest, dude. I wouldn't even mind. I'd like to see him against Flair. I wouldn't care. Yeah, I mean, we we would love to see it, but as far as, you know, getting a good... I mean, it's probably going to be one of his only matches, so you definitely want to get a good match out of the guy. You don't want to have him go out there and, you know, make an ass out of himself. True, true. And I, I, I definitely think out of, you know, everybody, Triple H will pull a good match out of him, so... Exactly. And and another thing is, if, if he's going against Taker, most likely Sting is going to have to lose. Sting's first match. You don't want this guy losing. I mean, Triple H can put over Sting with no problem. Yeah, exactly. And I could Thanks. see. Uh, yeah, exactly. I could see. Maybe a you know this could be a chance for the Authority to get back in or something. Maybe. I I definitely don't see Sting winning his first match. But anyway. You you don't see Sting uh, winning the match against Triple H? Nope. Oh man, you you must be crazy. He's definitely winning. There's no way Sting is is debuting and he's losing. There, no way. I don't know. It's possible, dude. I, there's no way anybody would do that. If they do that, man, you qu- quote me right now. I'm gonna stop watching wrestling. <laughs> if they do that, I I'll watch Lucha Underground and we can talk about that. Awesome. I'm gonna stop watching WWE at least. I'll watch the network. I'll watch the old shit. If they do that, man, there's just no reason for me to watch wrestling any longer. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, but I'm, that's why I'm that's why I'm putting that on the line because there's no way they're doing that. There's just no way, no way. I don't know, man. WWE has done some crazy stuff. I guess we'll see, man. We'll see. We will. But, uh, we will. We'll. Uh, we'll. We'll. The, the closer it gets, we'll start placing some wagers. <laughs> But uh, another another option that's that's left open, which I really like, is John Cena can actually turn heel now, and there's a reason for it. 
no, won't happen. Uh, most likely it won't happen, <laughs> but it's it's set up so nice. It's 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 done already, man. It's just he just has to do it. He's the only one that can bring back the authority, right? Right. Turn him heel, make him part of the authority. It makes sense. I think that's what they're setting up, and they have to be. A Cena heel turn they're setting up? Or else, I mean, think about it. If Cena's the only person that can bring them back, right? I mean, they have they have to... Uh, hold on. They have to honor them. Hold on. Am I locked? No, you did for a second. They have to honor what? I'm saying Cena is, is, is the only person that can bring back the authority. Right, right, right. So they have to honor that, right? Sometime. Eventually, yes, I get. Well, do they? How is he gonna, I, I would think so. How are they going to bring back the authority unless John Cena brings them back? How is he going to bring them back as a face? I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know, man. I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's right there. They just have to do it. But they won't. <laughs> probably not. They probably won't. They probably won't. <laughs> they probably won't. And probably John Cena will bring them back as uh, faces. Oh, he'll bring them back. They'll be smiling and and out in the ring crying like the big show. <laughs> when... That's actually probably what's going to happen. So, or they'll, be wearing, they'll come out in wristbands. That is our predictions in uh, November. There you go. Wristbands. I see. I see Triple H with 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 hustle, loyalty, and respect on his wrists. Awesome. <laughs> God, talk about things I hope don't come true. Yeah, well, it's gonna happen. It probably will. I'll be so sad. Oh, it's gonna happen. I'll be apologizing for months. <laughs> and I'll probably uh. I'll probably just stop watching. Well, that's all right. As long as we got Lucha Underground, I think we're good. And you know what? Well, let's just go ahead and say this. I posted it today on the Facebook. New Japan is getting a U.S. TV deal. Nice. There you go, man. New Japan. Hope oh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe we'll get Global Force. So New Japan, Ring of Honor, Global Force, Lucha Underground, TNA, WWE. That's, that's a lot. That is a lot. But maybe, maybe House of Hardcore someday. You never know. Yeah, but at least we're gonna have some more alternatives. And right now, I'm considering Lucha Underground an alternative. So. Oh yeah, dude. If they have a, if they actually have a two-hour show, that'll that'll be awesome. I don't want a three-hour show, but if they have a two-hour show, that can satisfy my wrestling, my my weekly wrestling, you know, habit, and I can just watch that. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm. I'm, 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 I agree, but um, I don't know. I'm definitely curious to see. It looks like it's on a, it's on kind of a small station, but let's see here. It's on what APN? Hold on, which I think used to be, excuse me, which which is Mark Cuban's channel, which used to be H, HD Net. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Here we go. I got it right here. Got it right here. Axis TV, AXS, Axis TV. So, yeah, it used to be HDNet. It is Mark Cuban's channel, so... Nice. I don't get it. I get it, but I don't have it on my on my cable package. Maybe I will. Yeah, yeah I, I probably don't have it, but I would like to check it out. Let's see here. It looks like they're going to be coming in 2015. Doesn't say when in 2015. Um, actually, I lied. The agreement was announced and so God, you liar. You fucking liar. Wait, the show will kick off Friday, January 16th at 9 p.m. All right. Hopefully I get it. With Sp with SmackDown moving to Thursday nights, this left Friday open, so it's going to be another Friday show. Man, that is a lot of wrestling, dude. That is, and look at us one more time spitting sound effects at you. There you go. Oh, that sounded. God, shut the fuck up. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta shorten that one. Okay. We just lost some viewers. <laughs> no way. Did we really? I'm dead serious. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, my God. All right, anyway. <laughs> I apologize. I will not do that again. <laughs> Oops. Honestly, I mean, Monday we're going to have Raw. Yeah? Tuesdays. I mean, aside from our show, is there actual, like, wrestling on Tuesdays? Does there need to be? Our show. No. Don't. No, definitely not. I mean, fuck, fuck wrestling. Yeah, listen to our show. But um, I mean, in all seriousness, is is there any wrestling programs on a Tuesday, or is that the only day that's off? Um, what night? I don't know what. Um, I don't know what night ROH comes on. Somebody might get it on Tuesdays, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess Tuesday and and the weekend are are probably the only days off. But Monday is Monday is Raw. Yeah. Monday is is Lucha Underground and TNA, and NXT. It's going to be NXT also. Uh huh. Thursdays is going to be SmackDown, and Fridays is going to be a uh, New Japan, and maybe Global Force. Maybe they'll move to uh, Tuesdays. I don't know. Um. Fuck them. Join our force. Fuck them. Man, if Global Force could only get a roster, maybe they could move somewhere. We have a roster. Really? New yeah, J we're hot tag man. We got the two of us. Fuck them. That's right. The roster. Great. I did read that with they're not sure if TNA is going to be on Tuesdays or Wednesday nights, so I'm hoping they don't move to Tuesdays on this new channel. Well, it doesn't matter, man. Most people listen to the the archived episode anyway. Yeah, yeah, it won't be a big deal. I don't think TNA is not that much of a problem anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I guess we should we should finish off Survivor Series with a big surprise, man. Uh, yeah, not, oh. not 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 just Ziggler getting the push of a lifetime, but uh, go ahead. I actually this was my mark out moment of the year easily. Uh, aside from from maybe seeing Warrior, but I think this this was probably even bigger. This was uh very uh, surreal to say the least. It was very weird. In a, in a good way, I felt like a little fucking kid again. Yeah. A man. The crow. Is he still a crow? Um, I don't know. He's just the man called Sting to me. He's an old crow. He's old there. Legend. He is an old crow. He is. Nonetheless, he's, he's a legend. But yes, the man known as the Stinger. Sting showed up to a motherfucking WWE show. Yes, it happened, man. It happened. Very surreal. That was a loud pop. I don't know how people didn't hear a loud pop. I, I, could, I didn't get it. Dude, I had headphones on, and it was loud. Was it? I, I believe you, man. I just, I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it was my TV. I don't know. I, I mean, I heard the, the thank you Sting chants, yep. and it was awesome. I think honestly, I think it was just just the fact that people just couldn't get on the same chant, just because it was his, his first appearance, and you know, Sting is 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 kind of a, you know, it's 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 not the catchiest name. It's kind of an awkward name to chant. You know, it doesn't really have a ring to it. You can just go with like Sting, Sting, Sting you know, it's, it's weird. But, yeah, uh, but definitely, man, what a moment. I, I I'll I'll even. I mean, literally, the hair on my arm stood up. It was just a fucking oh, great yeah. moment. Oh, yeah. It Definitely. was. It's, it's, it's one of those moments that you're never going to forget. Lost you there. I, I really didn't think he was going to actually get involved in the match at all. I was glad he actually did something, and it was. I, I loved it. I loved every moment of it, to be honest. Man, he, he he looks good, man. I don't know what people are talking about, dude. He's fifty four years old. What do you expect from him? He, I mean, yes, he has a bald spot. I'm twenty seven years old. I barely have hair left. Who gives a shit? He looks good for fifty four. Everyone complains. He wrestles in a t shirt. Oh, do you need to see him naked? Is that what you watch wrestling for? Like, 
dude, I don't watch wrestling to see naked dudes. Like, I don't care if he has a shirt on or not. He's 54. Dean Ambrose has a shirt on. Exactly. He's 54, man. Leave him alone. Yeah, yeah. He, he wears a fucking vest. You know, he has a he has a receding hairline. He has a he has a bald spot. He's getting older. He, yeah, it's natural. He's 54, man. He's not the same sting, but he's still very good in the ring, nonetheless, man. That that Scorpion Death Drop looked awesome. I think he hit it very well. I didn't. I don't think he he missed the beat. You know. No, he nailed it. Triple H did a great job at selling it. It looked good. It and, and you know he walks over to Ziggler, rolls him over, and I don't know. It, it was just it was a great. I mean, the whole thing had me. I mean, I, I I did see people complaining about it, like, oh, that's all. That's it. This is the debut. Well, I fucking loved it. Well, I mean, to to be honest, um, don't don't get me wrong. I loved it too. I I'm not trying to complain but you know at the same time this is one of those moments that's that was so hyped up that they just I don't know man I mean Undertaker gets Druids and he gets all this shit Sting just gets a regular entrance I mean he, he can come at least through the crowd I know he's not going to come from the ceiling but you know let's face it on Nitro he was coming from the ceiling he even came from a fucking helicopter yeah in WWE, in his debut, he just walks out. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I told like, yeah, like you said, I understand why they're not going to put him from the from the rafters. Um, or you know, have him come out through the ring or something. I don't know, man. They, you know, honestly, if they had him come out through the ring. I would, I would have liked that more than just him coming out. You know what? Here's the problem. Anything they did, it wasn't going to be enough. You know, everybody was going to complain whether. Uh, they did this, did that, you know, because Sting does this, and he does that. Yeah, I forget. <laughs> well, it is it is the internet era, man. Everybody has an opinion. <laughs> They're going to complain, man. That's just what They're it is. Complain, oh, it was stupid. They did this. That's, that's what we're doing here now, man. That's, that's I, know, what <laughs> I liked it. I liked everything about it. I, I well, thought... I loved that. it too, man. I loved it too. I just think that, you know... They they could have done something to make it make it like just over the top. You 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 don't think there there's something wrong with him just coming out just to a regular entrance? And it made you this is fucking sting. I didn't expect him to. I definitely like as uh, once again I definitely did not expect him to come down from the rafters or anything. But I halfway expected maybe something a little bit more, but. He came down. He got involved. I I just saw no problem with it. So, no, man. His his involvement as far as in ring, I had no problem with that at all. I thought it was awesome. I, the mm -hmm. stare down was was all that deserved that this is awesome chant. That's yeah. something that he deserved that this is awesome chant because it's one of those moments. Like I said, his 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 scorpion death drop was awesome. You know, I have had no problem with that. I just <laughs> I I don't know, man. I just thought that the debut was just. There could have been more to it, but I, I loved it nonetheless, man. It's one of those moments that I'm always gonna cherish and 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 remember. It's 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 just, you know it's part of history. It's never gonna happen again. There's not one other wrestler out there that that hasn't been in the WWE that that's gonna have that big of an impact ever again, probably, literally ever again. Yeah, yeah. I, I got. I mean, yeah. Could they have done something different, something better? Maybe, but just because it wasn't the way, you know, it, I, I, I just liked it. I don't know. What I did notice, though, is when he hit that that uh, scorpion death drop, Cole didn't know what in the living shit to call it. He called it the stinger. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> did you the catch that? Flash. He, he didn't did know what to call flash. it. He was about to say the stinger death drop, but I think he stopped himself before he got in trouble. Man, I wish he would have called the the, the Stinger Splash. That would have been hilarious. That would have been awesome. Now, let's. I guess let's just go into Raw. Um, Raw started out, <laughs> big surprise, the Authority, although I thought they were terminated. I thought they left. <laughs> He's got to fucking back, which I have, I have no problem with him, man. I, I like Steph. I like Triple H. But yeah, they came out and uh, yeah, 
Go ahead, get into it, man. What did you think? Uh, I kind of, I mean, I expected them to do this. It was, it, it was what it was. You knew they were going to come out, belittle the crowd, belittle this, do that. And then, I don't know. And then Daniel Bryan came out. So, yay. Yes. 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 Daniel. Yeah, as, as much as I love Bryan, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of over the whole yes 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 thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know. It's 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 kind of getting like irritating. Yeah, and I'll I'll tell you what this whole segment lasted way too. Thirty minutes. It, it was, 30, was dude. brutal. It was brutal, and it was and he I mean having him come out there and talk that long. Was not a good idea. It was brutal. I'm. Just, I thought it was horrible. Yeah, I'm killing yeah. him, man. Yeah, I mean the first few minutes were great, and then it just went on and on and on and on. I didn't know what in the hell to do. Yeah. Yeah. So at, I, at I, least he's not going to be the G, you know the the permanent GM. That's 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 a positive at least. Oh, we're getting to the negative at the end of the show. Uh, yeah, honestly, I would rather have that negative at the end of the show substitute Daniel Bryan as as the GM, just because I know that's death, that's him. That's 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 his death. If he's gonna be the GM, dude, that's that's it for him. Yeah, because he's not he's not good on the mic. He's good in the ring. He's not good on the mic. Mm-mm. You know, he he lacks he lacks that uh that charisma and enthusiasm as as much as as, as he has it in the ring, he doesn't have it on on the mic. No, no. So. But he brought out these um he brought out all of Team Authority to give them matches and situations to kind of punish them. It, he you know gave them all matches and some of them he didn't give matches like Kane he made be a Concession guy giving hot dogs to people, so yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, first match he made was uh, Ryback and Mark Henry, which we got right into. Yeah, we already talked about this one. We did big clothesline. Mark Henry jobs out like a big bad pussy. Um, then we got an Intercontinental Championship match: Dean Ambrose and Luke Harper. Yeah, my favorite match of the night, man. Awesome match. They've, you know, of course, I think I posted a, a 30 second clip of mm-hmm. uh, a, a crazy chair shot that uh, Luke Harper gave to Dean Ambrose back on, like, you know, in the Indies. I think it was from maybe Dragon Gate, Evolve, one of those shows. But uh, yeah, these guys, you know, they they were traveling together. They they worked together before, so they kind of. They know how to get around each other, so it was definitely a good match. I wouldn't mind seeing these guys feud. No, not at all. This was definitely a good match. Yeah, you did. I did see that video you posted. That was a hard shot to the face with that chair. Oh yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, this definitely was a good match. I'd watch this many more times happily. So. Yeah, I mean the the finish was what it was, but it set it was again more setting up for the Bray TLC match where he, you know, used chairs again and basically, you know, until Bray came out and attacked him, and then Bray buried Ambrose in chairs. So tit for tat. Yeah, I liked it. Yep, and then. Oh, no. I have to say though, man, it is kind of weird how they just bury each other in like chairs. They don't actually hit each other with chairs. They just kind of like, you know. Yeah. They can't really hurt. I mean, they just like. Yeah. But they're putting them through gen- first. Ever so gently, you just place a chair on another guy. Yeah, but I mean, they're kind of throwing them in there. I don't know. I liked it. Bray was throwing them in the ring and shit, and I don't know. It was nice. I liked it. I'll tell you what, that, that pay-per-view match, is, that's going to be a hell of a match, though. It it better be. It better, oh, it, it better get time. It better be good. I don't see how it can't be good, so we'll see. 
Mm. I think I actually, I, I think TLC is going to be awesome. I think I'm hoping. I mean, right now we only got one match, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Definitely a good match, but um, after this match, Larry the Cable Guy came out with Santino Morella. Larry oh the Cable Guy came out shirtless with a Rey Mysterio mask on. Holy shit. Telling some of the most awkward jokes I've heard in my life. Dude, this was this made my eyes bleed. This was so it was an I felt embarrassed for the guy, man. I felt bad for him. This was so awkward. The people hated him. And you know, you can tell, I mean for the most part, I'm guessing, most crowds that he's been around. He's he's over with the crowd because you know that's that's typically the people that that buy tickets to go see him. So this was a this was a new environment for him. He you know he was out of his out of his own environment, and it, it, I don't think he was expecting booze. Um, he held it together pretty well, but I I felt bad for the guy, man. Well, that's what happens when you come out with no shirt on, looking like that. But anyway, <laughs> this that, they set him up, man. They knew this was gonna happen. Oh, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. Have you noticed it, man? They boo every fucking guest they bring because people don't want to see these guys. Nope. Somehow Vince thinks that people want to see these celebrities on wrestling every week. We don't. We want to see them on WrestleMania. Done. No, we don't even want to see them on WrestleMania. I don't mind celebs on WrestleMania. It's kind of a <laughs> tradition. It doesn't bother these aren't fucking celebrities, man. I mean, what? Larry the Cable Guy is. The rest of these fucking people aren't. That 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 lady from from the Housewives of Atlanta and all this bullshit and and the kitty cat from last week and dude, these aren't Barker. celebs, dude. They've had Bob Barker. You can't tell me he's not a celeb. Yeah, like five years ago. Hey, Bob Barker is a legend. They also, yeah, they also had Muhammad Ali, like fucking. 30 years ago. Oh, yeah, that was... I mean, you can't have them now. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying they've had they've had some huge, you know, Hollywood superstars and athletes and, and, and so forth, but nowadays, man, we get fucking these lame-ass people that nobody gives a shit about. They're, they're either, you know, social media fucking celebrities and, and, and low-end celebrities. I mean, really, B-stars. I mean, they're not... Larry, the cable guy, he's probably one of the bigger ones they've had recently. But they knew that people weren't going to respond well to that. They, they knew that people were going to hate it. That's scary to think that Larry, the cable guy, is one of the big stars. True. <laughs> That's pretty scary. That's really scary, actually. Think about it. I, I'd rather not. <laughs> I guess uh, on, on to the next one, man. This this was horrendous. This was terrible. The yeah, this yeah, but uh, tag team championship match. That's what was next. Yeah, and uh, I I love the I love the mini belts, man. I think Miz Dow is awesome, man. Miz Dow is yeah. I don't know, man. I think he's more over than Daniel Bryan was. <laughs> this guy is fucking crazy. It's, it's it's definitely online with that. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely over. I mean, the crowd is cheering the living hell out of him. And whoever, like I said, whoever's booking these matches is realizing that. So, good for them. Yeah. I just hope that, you know, they don't stretch it out too too much longer. I don't think they will. I think that's I, I think that I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how long they will, but I could I could see that definitely maybe being a I, I could see them giving San uh Mizdow his uh mania moment for this. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I could see it. Yeah, but this was definitely uh, entertaining. Miz uh you know, he acted like he got an injury and Stepped outside to the ring and got checked out by the doctor while Mizdow was, you know, he was holding his own and uh, wrestling both guys. 
And I guess we should mention who they were facing, uh, Goldust and, and, and Stardust. Sorry, yeah. folks. I mean, um, the only two teams they face. True. <laughs> but, uh... Them are the Usos. Yeah, but then uh, Miz tagged himself in and, and came in and uh, did his finisher, whatever the hell it's called, and uh, got the pin. And they celebrated, and, and just like the previous night at Survivor Series... When uh, Miz when Miz was raising his his belts, people were booing, and when Miz that was doing it, they were cheering. So I, yeah. I love it, man. I th- I think this is awesome. Uh, this is one of the better things on Raw. I totally agree. I'm loving it too, man. I am. It's great. It's fun. It's fun. That's what it is. It's fun. You laugh at it, but it's it's supposed to be laughed at. So good for you. Yeah. Well, yeah. good for all of us. Yeah. Exactly. So. Then we go to, then we get into another horrible segment with Rusev and Lana, um, where uh, part of the uh, part of part of the stipulations Daniel Bryan put out was Rusev and Lana could choose between a match or a comp. I'm sorry, company wide battle royal for his U.S. title, or they could say the Pledge of Allegiance. Now, you may call this horrible, man. I actually like this. I didn't. And I'm a Slaughter fan. Why Don't not? Get me wrong. But he was good in it, but I just... Waste of time. Waste of energy. I just didn't didn't care to see it. I'm sorry. Yeah, but it, it, it made him look like a, like a bigger heel. It got him heat. It it put him over as strong. He wasn't gonna step down and, and, and pussy out. He he was he was he was down to put it on the line in, in the battle royal. He didn't wanna he didn't wanna sell out to his uh country of of Russia, as, you know, because he's a fake Russian. Yeah, but look what Lana did. She started saying it. Yeah, but then he he, he straightened her out. He did. He took that mic and said, "Look, bitch." Yep. You do that shit. All right? All right? Rusev Pushkia. <laughs> what is he? What is How does... I forget what it was. I don't know. It sounds to me like he says Rusev Austria. I have no clue. Yeah. But uh, Swagger came out for the save for uh, old Slaughter when uh, Rusev was trying to kick his ass. Yeah, wow. Well, uh... I never liked Swagger, man. This guy sucks. But Rusev is awesome. Yeah, but it makes sense for Swagger to come down, so... Yeah, but, it, it definitely made sense. I, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. So I guess that they're uh, re- rehashing this uh, feud. And uh, <laughs> I guess Swagger's going to get pinned by Rusev for the 15th time. That's Probably. That's good. That's good. Probably. Good stuff. Once or twice. I, and, I don't oh. mind it because he sucks anyway. So go ahead, pin him. Pin him. Who gives a fuck? So yeah. Then, and I know you loved this match. Next match, I know you did. Oh yeah. Oh. Fandango versus Justin Gay, Brill. Yeah, <laughs> I, I well, I, I I like Justin Gabriel, man. He's he's good in the ring, though. I actually do too. I just like saying it like that. It's funny. Yeah, he's good in the ring. Um, he, it's he's there. I, I mean, he's coming out dressed like Kofi, but whatever. Well, it's at least good to see guys like him and uh, Tyson Kidd finally be back on Raw after fucking five years. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Come on, man. He's, he's, he's better than Jack Swagger. Yeah, he is. I'll give you that. Entertaining. At least he's a high flyer. At least he can do a high spot. He may not be able to talk. At least he, he can do a high spot to wow the crowd. Jack Swagger can't talk. He's okay in the ring. I get it. He's big. Guys like that, man, I just, I'm just i not really a big fan of. Adam Rose. Eh. Not into it. Yeah. I get it. I got you. But yeah, I actually like Gabriel too. I I think 
I don't know. They they had the chance to do something with him when he was in that NXT stuff and the you know the uh, Nexus, but uh, just didn't. So. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fandango won that match, and uh, then we get the uh, wonderful Big Show segment that we've already gotten into. Yeah, please let's not get into it again. But I will say this, Big Show. You was crying like a pussy. There you You go. You was crying like a pussy. (laughs) You know we had to put that in there. We had to put that. Every time we talk about Big Show, we have to put that in there. We really should start. And I don't know, it looks like maybe Mark Henry soon, too, so... <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably, so... Alright, so, yeah, there was that, this big show thing. This was... This was horrible, but then, I'll tell you what, Eric Rowan came out, and uh, Rowan didn't look dwarfed beside him. He, he's a pretty damn big guy, man. I didn't realize it, how big till they put him out there right in front of the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a big son of a bitch. So, uh, looks like we're. Uh, I don't know. See, this is what I'm saying. This looks like to me. It looks like they're gonna do TLC as Rowan and Big Show, and then revisit this Cena stuff. I certainly hope they don't, man. I mean, that's what I'm seeing, but. Did you did you like the weak ass uh, Eric Rowan chance? Yeah, like five people started. <laughs> like five people and like yeah, I did hear it. <laughs> it almost started. It was getting... I like him though, man. I feel bad for him. <laughs> it's uh, not really a good gimmick, man. This is this is this is not a good gimmick. Yeah, it's an odd gimmick, but I don't know. Maybe people get into it. Who knows? I mean, there I do see sheep masks in the crowd, so someone's into it. Uh, I haven't seen too many. I haven't seen too many uh, sting masks. Uh, yeah, good point. But they don't show the crowd as much as they used to, so who knows, really? I mean, all you really see is that hard camera side ninety percent of ninety ninety nine percent of the time. Yeah. So on the other side could be you know millions of you know thousands of kids with sting masks and. Who knows? I guess. Yeah, but um, you know they had a little brawl. Show walked away like a like the pussy he is. He was crying like a pussy. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We'll hit it again. He was crying like a pussy. It's only a one second clip. We don't care. <laughs> he was crying like a pussy. Crying like a pussy. Oh, so glad that movie was around. So, <laughs> and then we get. Another epic match of 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 the trials of the Bellas with Nikki. Uh, let's see, Bree versus AJ. Nah, man, forget this. Hit hit that hit that button one more time for the big show. One more time for the big show. I was hitting that for the Divas match because that's pretty much what happens when I mention the Divas matches with you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I pretty much have no response to the Divas matches. Yeah, that's... that's folks, I, uh, you know. Plus, plus, we said we would get the, the cricket sound last week, so I had to get it. Yeah. Can't believe I remembered, but I did. So, yeah, so there was that match. Um, uh, yeah, Brie won. And uh, then we go to, and I, I was laughing at this match, Tyson Kidd and Natalia versus Adam Rose and the Bunny. And I was not laughing at Adam Rose. I was laughing at Tyson Kidd. I missed this match. Um, it was Tyson Kidd being, you know, just trying to take the attention. And I don't know. Natalia was, like, trying to comfort the bunny in the ring, and he got... Whatever. Do do we... Can we just... Can we just skip it? It was... It was not that... It was... Tyson Kidd was being bunny, but... You know, the bunny's in there humping the air, and... Again? Yeah. Again. They gotta stop with the bunny, man. And Larry the Cable Guy and Santino were on commentary for this, too. Oh, yay. I'm I'm so happy I missed this. 
Yeah, you did not miss much, so don't be upset. But uh, that led us to our... This is your main event of the evening! A handicap match. Yes, sir. I thought I would see the Cruiserweights again. It was good to see them guys back in back uh, back in the ring. I thought it was uh, Cena and Ziggler versus Rollins with J and J JJ Security. I realize they're called Joey Mercury and Jamie Noble. And like you said, it was good to see them guys in the ring, and they still looked fine to me. Yeah, that is a hell of a security team. Yeah. Your security is the smallest two guys in the room. I mean, Seth Rollins was towering over them, motherfuckers. That's not good. Man, I mean, forget forget uh, Brodus Clay being a security guard for Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg needs to hire these guys. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, Brodus ain't no intimidating-looking bastard. But these two guys? Yeah. You're going to run from these little vanilla midgets. Hey, man. <laughs> Not about the size, man. It's about how fucking crazy you are. Look at uh, I don't even want to say his name. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. Goddamn Chris Benoit. Goddamn him. Makes it so you feel bad saying his fucking name. Hey, yeah, son of a bitch. You cocksucker. Go ahead, folks. I don't give a shit if he did a good arm drag. I don't care if he did a good German suplex. You know, that honestly pisses me off. On his, on his birthday, do you these idiots that post, like, you know, happy birthday, Chris Benoit, on these, like, wrestling fucking sites and shit? Like, you cannot be serious, man. Dude, Songman does it every year on his birthday. Well, fuck him, man. Whoever does this, man, you're an absolute moron. Mm-hmm. The guy is essentially a, a, a serial killer that murdered his whole family. And you're trying to tell me, well, he was a good wrestler. He, have you ever seen him do an arm drag? <laughs> no, but I know for a fact that he killed his whole fucking family. Truthfully, I'll be honest here. Evan Bourne had a better arm drag. There you go. Because Evan Bourne used the Steamboat arm drag. And I'll always love that one. Yeah, well, Steamboat, he, he had the best arm drag in the world. Yeah, and like I said, you know, uh, yeah, Evan Bourne copied it. So, yeah, but yeah, Steamboat did it better than anybody. Yeah, he had he had a nice snap to it. Oh yeah, and then he brought it right up into that lock. Yeah, Steamboat was awesome, man. Oh my god, he was amazing. Amazing. He still would be if they'd let him in the ring. Yeah, <laughs> he can probably still go. He he can, but after if you remember, right after that little Nexus beatdown, he had a little hospital thing, and um, he had like a mini stroke or something. Did he? It, it had nothing to do with the beatdown, the you know, but it just it it was bad timing, and yeah, they're probably I don't think he can wrestle anymore. Yeah. Damn, when he was in the ring for that one match with Nexus, he was great. He was fucking great. He looked awesome in the ring. He got tons of you still got it chance. Oh. Yeah. But uh I don't know th this this match was a bit of a clusterfuck. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the greatest main event. No, but it 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 it, it did its purpose, you know. It it was definitely not bad, but uh it was just a filler for for pretty much what we're about to get into, which is uh essentially probably the biggest, bigger than Sting, this is a bigger surprise than Sting to me, the fact that they brought back the goddamn anonymous general manager that is a laptop with the most annoying sound, and we're going to get Michael Cole reading messages every 10 minutes now, man. As if, you know, him plugging the network and the fucking app every two seconds isn't, isn't bad enough, and his terrible jokes... Now we gotta have this sound go off and have this idiot read, you know, all this. Oh God, man, you know it's gonna be bad, dude. I yeah. mean, as much as as much as much as you know, good stuff has been coming in, and all these new guys are returning and they're giving Ziggler a push. Sting is back. 
great main events, always good pay-per-views in the last few months. There are a lot of bad stuff, don't get me wrong, and a, and a lot of good stuff. But this, dude, this, like, why do you have to do this to us? You know this was bad. You guys know this was bad. You guys even make fun of it on your own countdown. <laughs> why bring it? Honestly, it's on the network. They make fun of it. It's on yeah. the countdown for one of the, like, the, the stupidest shit ever. And they bring it back. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Stop, man. Stop. They have to stop this shit. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with this at all. And I, I don't know if it broke last night before they went off the air, or were they were, 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 were they trying to do the yes chant with that noise? I I hope not. I, I don't know why they were doing it so many times, man. That was that was so annoying. It was so awkward the way they went off air. I wasn't even sure if they just went off air. I was like, are they coming back or what was that? Oh no! I saw the uh, the the uh, the logo pop up, the graphic, and then I I knew they were done. But I wasn't because Michael Cole was sitting there like smiling, like I can't shut it, I can't do anything. And then they went off air, so I don't know if it broke or they were trying to do the yes chant with that that horrific noise. Yeah, it was very awkward. I don't know. If, I don't know. Do you think Michael Cole is turning heel? Is this do is this hair? I don't. I don't give a fuck. But is this is this what they're hinting at? I don't know. All I know is Michael Cole turning heel is as interesting as Big Show turning heel to me. Yeah, I guess they can't turn him heel. He has to plug in all their shit. So yeah, but uh, well, JBL plugs. Well, I don't know what JBL is. I don't know if they if they're. I, I don't know. God, the commentating is so bad. They don't even talk about the match anymore unless there's a pin attempt. I don't know. Don't 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 get me started on this. I'll go for an hour. <laughs> the commentary is so bad. It's just it it irks me. I don't know why it does, but it does. Yeah. Believe me, it uh it bothers me as well. Yeah. But... It, and and then, you know, you listen to like Lucha Underground where Matt Stryker is – we're getting into it in just a minute anyway, so we may as well segue into it. Uh, you know, you, you get Lucha where Matt Stryker not only tells you what move they're doing, but why it's hurting you. You know, this is hurting because it goes around the neck and it pinches that – you know, the, it pinches the air off. I love it. I don't mind doing that. Tell me what – who cares? That's what – isn't that his job? Yeah, sell sell the sell the move. That's that's his job. But even in, I feel like I need to be invested in this. Make it feel important. Put me in the match. Tell me why. UFC announcers do this all the time. Listen, watch UFC. Joe Rogan will tell you why he's going for the move. Why why he should go for the move. What the move is doing. I mean, you know, if if it, it, it's just. Why not? But this is one of the reasons Matt Stryker was fired. He's too detailed. Um, okay. Yeah. You know, that's like saying Jim Ross was, you know, he was too Southern. I don't buy that shit. I think JBL is more Southern than Jim Ross sometimes. Yeah, but well, JBL, he, he kisses a lot of ass. Although JR literally did kiss Vince's ass. Yeah. I think Yo, he, he's he's a uh, well. Jr. is an easier target. Let's face it. So well, yeah, yeah. But you know, I, I honestly think cert at certain times JBL is more of a southern guy than Jim Ross ever could be, even though he lives in the Bahamas and I don't know what he's talking about. So <laughs> well, I don't know. I I I I I really enjoy Striker's commentary on Lucha Underground right now, and Vampiro is doing just as good. He's like the... It's almost like he's the teenager, even though he's as old as he is. Yeah. Yeah, he, he looks like a dinosaur. Yeah, he does, but I don't know. I'm really... I'll say this again. I'm loving me this this Lucha Underground. Um, we didn't get much in Episode 3 because you haven't watched it, so I still won't. But... Um, 
Episode four was not as good as the first three episodes, but it was still good. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's because they had more matches, and I, you know, la- uh, the last few weeks they've had a lot more uh, vignettes and debuts and stuff. So I don't know. Well, why don't you go ahead and and get into episode four? All right, I'll, I'll go through a little bit of it real quick. Um, Sexy Star versus Ivelisse. Um, God damn, good match. <laughs> I, I, I know it was, I know it was two women, and you probably won't like the match, but you should watch it. It was good. It was great. Don't don't make me sound like a sexist now. I just I just can't watch. Women's wrestling. Man. Oh, I know. You know what? This match you can watch. These no, two. Honestly, though, sex, sexy star. She's she's actually pretty decent in the ring, and and she looks good. So I and the whole mask, she can pull it off. I don't know. I I like her. Yeah, yeah, and like I said, and Ivelisse was um you know the girl from Tough Enough who she was one of the last ones eliminated. So I think she was actually fourth or third on the show. So not bad, but uh, yeah. Damn good match. They did some crazy moves and uh, ended up with a sexy star one with a with, with a roll up. So you know we're still we're still sticking with some formula here. Um, and then Pentagon Junior versus Phoenix. Holy shit! This was another badass match. This Phoenix and I, like I said, these two are brothers. Um, dude, god damn, was this a good match. I mean, they're doing... This Phoenix uses the ropes like I've never seen anyone use them before. He uses them like they're tight ropes, and he, like, jumps around and walks on them. Yeah, I, uh... Sorry, I had to step away for a second. I wasn't, I wasn't ignoring you. That's but, fine. uh... Yeah, that, that Phoenix guy, man, he's he's awesome. I would love to see him and uh, Prince Puma. Eventually, I'm guessing they're probably gonna have some some match. Uh, that's gonna be awesome. Oh, I'm sure that'll happen. Yeah, probably soon. So that's yeah, gonna, they have they have a lot of good guys. Yeah, I don't I don't know too many of them, but uh, you know, with all the backstage uh, you know, promo packages and 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 you know. They they're really good at telling telling stories, which is what we've been saying. They're different, man. That the production value is different. Honestly, I think the production value is is right up par with with WWE, if not better. I think it might be better. I yeah, really think really it looks good, dude. It looks like a fucking movie. Yeah, like I said, they're they spent as much on a three hour raw as they did to tape each episode of this. They put money into this, man. Yeah. So. Hopefully they've got more to put in it, and we get more seasons. And I would love—I mean, I would like to see this company start growing and touring and being a you know what a real wrestling company is, doing live shows and everything. So let's hope, cross you know, fingers crossed. Honestly, whoever's whoever's uh, you know providing the money behind this and, and you know financially supports this this whole thing. This project is—they have to be doing it as a, as a hobby. I mean, this this isn't probably something that they're relying on to make money. Because if if you say that they're spending as much as as, as raw is at a three hour show on on a one hour show, Lucha's doing that. I mean, close to it is what I—I I mean, I I did read that and I heard it also on the law, but yeah, it, it's definitely they're spending a lot of money to make this show, and you know what? It shows. Yeah. As far as I can see, it shows. Yeah, but I, I, I say that to say this. They're not on that many uh, like cable packages and, and cable providers. They're not in that many homes in, in the U.S., including mine. Right. So, I mean, if you're spending that much money and you're not even you know, being viewed by that many people, it just it has to be somewhat of just a, just a fucking just a side project that someone is doing for fun. It could be Robert Rodriguez's money for all we know. I mean, he's probably it could be, but I don't know. Like I said, I mean, he's got a lot of. I mean, if if you watch the beginning credits, he's got a lot of executive producers on that show. 
Oh, yeah. There's a lot of Hollywood people like involved with this whole project. Yeah, and like I said, one of them is Big Dick Johnson. There you go, man. Yeah, I mean, how can you not have a great wrestling show with Big Dick there? Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised with Conan, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really liking Conan. Dude, I'm liking him, and like I said on the third episode, Chavo and Vampiro have a great little interview thing. It's, it's, it's great. Chavo is awesome in it, I think. Really? I gotta, I'm, I'm going to actually check that out as soon as we're done with the show. Cool. Yeah, put it on, put it on, man. You'll definitely... I, it, it flies by, dude. It's like 40 minutes, and it's quick, and it really does fly by because it's, so, it's such a good show. Yeah. And there's no commercials on the on the uh, on the ones that you're going to be watching anyway. So, no, you're all good, man. I think it's like 43 minutes or something. Perfect. There you go, man. What else we got? Um. Uh. Anyway, Phoenix won that match with a Spanish fly, badass move. Um. And then they do introduce another guy, King Cuerno. Is this guy? Is is this the guy with the deer outfit? Yes. I, I saw a clip of this. How, how was this? Uh, he was versus Drago. Uh, this Drago guy, or D Drago, because he's kind of a dragon, I love this, this, this gimmick. I mean, he comes out, his, he's got this tongue that folds out and goes way past his chin, and it, it, somehow he gets it back. I don't know. It's really cool. See, I, I, I love gimmicky shit like this, man. I I love stuff like that. Like as much as I hate corny wrestling, I like I like gimmicks. Yeah. Yeah. That's what especially drew me into wrestling was like, you know, Ultimate Warrior. That was that was the first guy that that drew me into wrestling in, you know, 1990. Um gimmicks, you know? Like uh the whole thing with like Prince Devitt, that's another th reason I I think he'll probably get over if they let him use the paint. Um that's that's something new. Not too many people do a whole body paint. No, it's definitely something interesting, something new, something different. Like we've been, you know, saying. So why not, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, this match was honestly badass. Um, this fucking dr dr Drago is just amazing, and this other guy, King Cuerno, is really, really good. Basically, his his gimmick is he's a hunter. Okay. Hence the deer head, and he talks about hunting deer and hunting this. If you watch the vignette, everything will make sense. Nice. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, Drago, this finishing move he has where he comes off the ropes, he fl like flew off the ropes, and actually, hold on, he came downward with a with a suicide dive, then he comes off the ropes with an arm drag to a pin and and gets the win. Wait till you see this. Yeah, I'll check it out. Uh, I mean, they got, they got some exciting stuff coming in, man. I'm sure Rey Mysterio is coming in next year. Del Rio. I would like, yeah, I heard Del Rio maybe signing with them. That would be... Uh, They've you've been saying his name. Yeah, and as much as I don't, you know, as much as I didn't like Del Rio in WWE... This company may be able to do something really good with them because they've done something good with some guys that I didn't care for. Exactly. And John Morrison. I mean, come on. Guerrero, man. If if he's over with people right now, dude, they they can disguise the limit. <laughs> you know, you got a good point there, man. So yeah, then we get uh yeah, I I agree, but yeah, I mean Chavo's looking good on this show, and. You know, and like I said, this this John Morrison guy, he's Johnny Mundo on Lucha Underground, and he's like totally amazing and over, but doing some badass moves. Yeah. So, and he was against Big Rick, or as you know him, Ezekiel Jackson, former ECW champion. <laughs> uh, th the last remaining, the last ECW champion. No, the last ECW champion was Rhino, man. <laughs> that that ECW WWE crap was that doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It was it was good when it started, but it got old quick. Yeah. So 
yeah, this uh another damn good match, but um you know, it was uh it, there was some shenanigans at the end which uh you'll you'll see. I don't really want to spoil them for you. But um it was great, another great match. I I'm really I don't know if I'm just liking it because it's a new, it's different, it's not WWE style at all. It's not WWE light. It's it's just something totally different, and I guess I appreciate it, but I'm loving it. I think it's a great show. I honestly think the production value and, and the way that, that you know it's it's filmed, the atmosphere is different, you know, how the, how they refer to the to the to the wrestlers as, as warriors and you know the, the temple is the ring. I don't know, I like all of it. It's like it's it's gimmicky but it, it works. It's like a they treat it like an actual, you know, television show. Yeah, and they don't call them, you know, and they don't call the matches matches. They call them luchas. You know, the following lucha is, you know, they they really. You're right. They do a lot of real detailed, small detail stuff, which right. is is obviously coming through in the in the big picture. If that makes any sense. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I am too. And you've only watched two episodes. Yes, sir. I've watched all four, so. I'm still liking it. Like I said, the fourth episode is a little is a little more wrestling heavy than the other ones, but uh, that's not a bad thing. It's just you know you've been used to seeing some of these uh, you know a lot of these vignettes and stuff, and you're just not gonna uh, you're not gonna get them. Yeah, I'll you get as soon as we finish this. Yeah, but you get a couple vignettes, so you know keep your eye out for them and. Uh, that's it, man. I, I I think we've gone through. I think we've blown through all three shows. There you go, man. We did a lot in not much time. Three. Well, no, we did three hours. Yeah, we did. And um, I don't know. Uh, someone came in the chat and said it's a it's a pain in the ass to get through to that Google thing. So I don't know what we're gonna do next week. Maybe I'll just keep using the stream. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, we this, got a we got a couple people, you know, viewing it that way. Yeah. I see it on here. But, well, they uh, should be chatting. They should be chatting. They should be talking. Or do they not know there's a chat? They probably don't know it's a chat because it's kind of hidden. There you go. Yeah. There is a chat box up if you hover over the. Uh, for anyone who listens, if you do want to listen live, you can go into what we put up a Google link for YouTube, and you just need to go in. If you hover over the box we're talking in, if you hover over either one of our pictures, there's a chat box up on the top. Click it, and a chat box opens up, and you can chat with us. And let's see here, and you can you can interact with us live during the show. Live. Live. Let's see if anyone even answers me. Who's in here, I said. Who's in here? I bet bitch. Who is in here? So Meanwhile, let's let's find some news because I'm trying to get out of here in the next ten minutes. I got a lot of homework and I'm trying to watch the Lucha Underground. I forgot about news. It's not what? that much. Yeah, not not really much in news. I mean, the biggest news was Sting, which we already kind of covered. The TV deal for TNA last week, right? Right. I thought so. Let's see here. What do I have in here? I uh, don't need that. There is, a, uh, there is an NXT TakeOver coming up, though. Uh, NXT TakeOver R Evolution. Oh, yeah. That's uh, a good show, man. I'm excited for that. And they announce when it is. Give me a minute, and I'll bring it up. And I can tell you when it is. So, or something. Those are usually good shows, though, man. I, 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 the last one I couldn't get into for some reason, so I didn't finish it, but it was good. A four-way? Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, so let's see here. I've got that. I, I, 
I got something here. What do you think about this whole uh, Austin kind of, uh, you know, transferring this whole podcast onto the WWE Network? Fucking genius. Yeah, we we. It's funny. We actually talked about that like months ago. Yeah, we actually did. I mean, I'm not gonna. First episode. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna take credit for that being our complete idea, but yeah. Um, you're welcome, WWE. You're welcome, motherfuckers. We'd like some royalties for this. Suck it. Yeah, just uh, you know, make checks payable to cash. There you go, man. Yeah, let's see here. Tyler Rex backstage now. There's some backstage news on his return. Uh, let's see. Let's go to this takeover thing and see when that comes up because that's what I was originally talking about. I guess there's another ECW DVD coming out also. Oh, great. Fully turned down being uh, the new WWE GM, which is good. Yeah. Any uh, any more Santa Claus references? On a weekly basis, especially when we're, uh, you know, getting closer to December, enough fully, uh, probably hands down, definitely in my top five. But man, enough with the Santa. Yeah, I agree. Let's see. Okay, this is gonna be Thursday, December eleventh. Will be the uh, NXT Takeover R Evolution. So that should be good. Yeah. They're going to do it on a Thursday? Yeah, they always do it on a Thursday. When's um, SmackDown moving to Thursdays? Uh, January. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, there's really no news. I'm looking up here. Uh, I got something from the other day. Let me read it first. Because it says... <laughs> you to check out that uh, Randy Savage documentary. I still haven't, man. That's some good stuff, man. I, you know what? They were talking about that on another podcast today. I was listening to the Law again. Um, they were talking about that on the uh, on there. About how good it was and how you know it's 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 a little different. They you know, that there were this the only thing they said they were disappointed about was that there was no Vince. Yeah. So that was it. But I don't know. The only thing. Let's see here. Several readers sent word. Yeah, they, everyone's saying that people that were in that arena said Sting got a huge reaction when he came out. Um, apparently the reaction to him live was much bigger than how it came off on television. There was a YouTube video posted, but it got blocked, and it showed fans going nuts. So it just didn't come through on television, I guess, that great. Yeah, maybe so. I don't know. Maybe, again, I I didn't have it on very loud, the volume. I, I mean, the volume wasn't on very low either, but I yeah. don't know. Maybe I just, maybe... I mean, again, you listen to it with with headphones, so it kind of puts you in that atmosphere. Yeah, but, uh, and it, it 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 looked like they were going crazy in the stands, so I don't know, but it def they definitely were, according to this. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the fact that it didn't come through on TV kind of sucks because you know it's going to give the haters a reason to hate. So. Yeah. They'll never read or care about that article that I just read, which was right off of WrestlingInc.com. There you go, man. Yeah, they deserve a plug. I, I use their stuff enough. Always. Always credit the good folks. I Like I said, I pretty much use this stuff all the time. I, I like that site. It's easy to navigate and good, so... All right. Well, fuck it then, man. You want to get the hell out of here? I can get myself some dinner because I rushed home to do this. Yeah, there you go, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's uh, let's get our plugs in there. Um, you want to get some of the plugs and I'll get the rest of them? Uh, if, yeah, let's see if I can not stammer through them this time. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I usually do. This, this so. should be good, folks. You wanna you wanna stay tuned for these for these plugs. They're gonna be entertaining. <laughs> why you gotta make me? Why you gotta make me out to already fuck them up? I haven't even fucked them up yet. <laughs> All right, let me start with the Facebook because I'm staring at it and can't mess that up. 
Uh, Facebook.com slash groups slash THT podcast. And the website, hot tag podcast.weebly.com. Yes! There you go. Got to start going there. Got to start. That's where you can you can also download the show there. Even though you can download it from iTunes or YouTube, you can listen to it. There you go, and you can uh, find us on iTunes. Tht Wrestling Podcast. You can find us on YouTube. Turnbuckle Corner, and you can also find us on Twitter. Tht Podcast. Um, you already got the Facebook and the website. That's about it, I guess. Yeah, I just wanted to get the website out without, without you know. <laughs> also, I got some, uh, I got some cool new uh, wrestling art. So once we, uh, once we get some more people listening and stuff, we're gonna have some contests and some giveaways, and I have some extra DVDs we can give away and get some good stuff. Plus, I got a bunch of autographs that I don't need. Give those, give those away. Make some good things happen, man. But uh, if you want to check out some of that art, also get a cheap plug in here. Go ahead on uh, www.professionallydesign.com. You got any plugs you want to get in there, box man? No, but say that one more time because you cut out on my end. Let's make sure you didn't cut out on the, on anyone else's. Okay. That is professionallydesign.com. There you go. There you go. And uh, no, I'm good. If you want to, you can follow me on Twitter at BoxmanTHT. There you go, man. There you go. If you yeah. don't want to follow THT Wrestling on or THT Podcast, you can follow me. Yeah, there you go. And you can follow me on Twitter as well. That is uh, Shagan Shaheen, S-H-A-Y-G-A-N-S-H-A-H-E-E-N. Check it out, and we'll be back next Tuesday. Uh Maybe yeah. we'll be back seven o'clock again. I don't know. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Eh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It's um, I'll figure out where I'm doing the show from next week. <laughs> like I said, I had no kids or anything tonight, so it worked out from here. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Hopefully, I can do it from here again. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna take a look around the house. Maybe my kids can share a room. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. All for the love of the show. That's it, and we will end it. Packer, I smoke up, man. Time to kick back, take some business, smoke some weed.